What's going on guys, it's Complete Tech Crew. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the M12 Rover service and repair floodlight with USB charging from Milwaukee. This particular item is sporting a part number of 2367-20, has a maximum output of 700 lumens, has a 110 degree pivot left and right, and it also charges um, specific devices, mobile devices, at a peak of 2.1 apps. So tablets and um, um, your cell phones and stuff like that. Really, really, really lovely, well-designed, intuitive, wonderful, fantastic. Every phenomenal word that's out there to describe this light, it applies to this particular light. I like this light so much. It runs low on 24 hours with an XC 4.0 battery at 250 lumens, on high with an XC 4.0 battery um, at 8 hours at 700 lumens. So incredible light. I've actually experienced out there in the field that it does run longer than that on both settings. That's just my personal experience. I'm not saying that that's what it does by any means. So uh, continue to adhere to the, the specs that Milwaukee puts out and expect that from what they put out. So you may, may experience less than on that performance metric or more than, which, is, which I have. I always try to use fully charged batteries because I run them all day. So it works great. Um, I love the XC 4.0 battery. XC 6.0, of course, is the top dog, the better one there. And that one long, lasts long and pretty well, especially particularly for lighting. So this light is a great light, very robust, has this rugged rubber molding around the outside perimeter of the light and also on this back part where the magnet is. This is a credible magnet and I'll try my best not to ramble so much while it's in the packaging, but we'll just zoom in on some of the literature. It really doesn't tell you too much there goes your part number there and then the front and i have charged my phone from this and charging the pro ipad the larger one with no problem it'll knock it out so it's a really really cool really great well designed and deployed light so uh tip my hat to you on that one milwaukee so let's go ahead and uh show you everything unboxed and this is what it looks like right here really good looking light Great features. There goes that magnet, which is what I'm most excited about because it's actually a very strong and effective magnet. Magnet, excuse me, and the placement could not have been better. So thumbs up on that one as well. So looking at the top of this unit, you have your status, your battery status indicator. So it just lets you know the level and the charge of your battery. So it's either going to be uh, one through four lights illuminated. You have your power button. So uh, you hit it once, it'll be at high of 700 lumens. You hit it again, it'll go down to 250. You hit it again, and it goes off. Right here, this is not your USB port. A lot of guys like try to peel this off when I show them the light, and they're saying, why, is it, why can't I access the USB port? That's not what this is. You hit this, and it'll tell you the status strength of your battery. So that's the point of that. And then right here in this little uh, section that's capped off, which is genius by Milwaukee, is the actual USB port. So it's in this nice polypropylene solidified plastic cap and that's exactly what it's there for to keep dirt debris moisture what have you out of this light so again thumbs up again as usual to that one milwaukee very well thought out so let's go ahead and hit the power button first when we press it first of course it's on high at 700 lumens try not to mess you guys up with that glare you hit it again it goes to the 250 and then again off so it's dissimilar from the red lithium 3.0 and red lithium uh, the standard red lithium lighting, the rechargeable lighting. A lot of those, you have to hold it down for it to sequence through its cycles from high, medium, and low. So again, those are great light, light, great lighting solutions. I call them like personal lighting solutions because it's kind of what they're for. They're always on your person. Very, very, very good lighting. This one is a great light as well because I've dropped a couple of, uh, I dropped one of them out of my um, Milwaukee crate while I was on top of an elevator in a, sh in a uh, shaft and it fell all the way down, uh, went into the elevator drain at the bottom of the shaft. I could not find it for like 10 or 15 minutes, looking everywhere, looking everywhere. I look, finally found the drain. It caught my eye. I looked in and this light was in there. The battery had ejected and I thought it was over. I thought it was totally done. It did not look bad at all. It had a couple scratches on it. And I went ahead and put the battery back in and it lit right up like it was nothing. I wiped it down and she was just like, no. So uh, really impressed with this Milwaukee. Sorry to keep rambling, guys. I'm trying to get better at that, but... I just love tools and I love when they work and they outperform from what they're actually designed to do. It's, a, it's really a really an amazing feat. So I'll show you the pivoting feature. It says it pivots 110 degrees. Seems gimmicky, but it's not, guys. And I'm glad they added this feature. And it seems to me that this was designed and 
with the thought in mind to have as uh, a minimal amount of fail points as pos possible, which is only this and the battery ejecting, which is going to be a natural natural occur occurrence due to the fact that it's a, uh, it's a battery power tool, a cordless tool. So again, that high of a drop and it, it you know, toss, tossed and bumped and flipped and did hula hoops all around that uh, elevator shaft to make its way to the bottom and uh, it survived. So great feature. Thank you, Milwaukee, for thinking of us, you know, out there, the tradesmen out there in the field, keeping the fail points at such a minimum. I think that's a that's an incredible and well thought out. So I appreciate that. So let's go ahead and show off this magnet feature, guys, because that's 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 why I got this light. And that's what made it so convenient. I have a a, a very robust boat here, construction boat. So I'll stick that to that to kind of show you guys the type of materials that it sticks to and the strength. So again, this light has some weight on it because that 4.0 battery. If I'm trying to affix it to something and I don't want to lose that uh that magnetic strength, I'll go ahead and use a, a 2.0, the little small battery. It doesn't stand up as well at all on its own, but the magnetic strength is much higher because it doesn't have to uh compensate for the weight of the 4.0 or 6.0 excuse me so that sticks to that really well and as you see this boat is heavy you can hear it from the sound of it, and it kind of picks it up pretty well so good for that let's go ahead and get a piece of shallow unistrut stick it to that it carries that like it's nothing as you guys can see it does depend on weight, but it also is the contingency with this is if you can get the two magnetic strips to uh, occupy the surface to which you are trying to fix the light to. That's the key to this. Of course, we can't get it on this boat as good as we would like, but still a great, still a great magnet. So that surface area is what matters because it's snatching this unit strut like it's glued to it. And I'm shaking pretty hard and it's not coming off. So... There we have that. Let's try a piece of uh, three-quarter EMT. This is EMT, not rigid. So I believe that's only one magnetic strip on there, and it's holding it. It's on there. So great light, guys. Um, trying to demonstrate and just give you, you know, some brief examples, quick synopsis on exactly how well this will perform for you guys in the field. I love this light, and in my opinion, this is uh, one of my favorite M12 lights, aside from the M12 uh, tower uh, tower rocket light, that is one of my favorite ones as well, just because how compact and easy it is to use. I love that light. So this one, this one rakes at the top for me between M12 and M18 because how portable and bright this is. So again, we're on the three quarter. We're on a, another piece of three quarter again. And if I said one inch, I'm sorry. I don't know what I did with my one inch piece. So there it goes. Here goes the one inch. Excuse me for that. And that's it. It holds it pretty well. I'm sure it'll fall off. But the key is to try to get the magnetic strips to work in unison. And that'll give you your strength. So it's on there. And uh, last but not least, let's try another series of things. Let's try some solid iron with this Milwaukee pipe bender. We we'll probably won't get too much surface coverage with both of them. But it's on there. Of course, it's not going to pick it up or anything. Well, I lied. There it goes. But it's on there. You guys can see that. Why we would have put it on that, I don't know. Sometimes I stand my bender up while I'm working, and uh, I'll slap this light on there. I'm just curious to see how it affixes to these uh, impact sockets, these new impact sockets from Milwaukee. So let's try it out, see the strength of it. I don't know in what scenario would anyone or myself ever need to do this, but it holds them, man. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure the t exact type of metal composition that these sockets are made of, but it definitely picks them up. And these so sockets are very, very robust and heavy duty, so they're not light by any means. So to me, that's a uh, that's an accomplishment and uh, an incredible feat that this magnet is so strong. So again, thank you, Milwaukee, for this um, product. I love it. I don't think I can gloat any more about it. I really appreciate you guys for this, and it's, it, it affixes itself to service carts and mobile workstations so so flawlessly. You know, when I'm wrenching on uh, cars and stuff, it works great. Out there in the field, data racks, everything, slap it on there, and you're good to go. One or two, maybe. It works great for me. So, again, the product number is 2367-20. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's going to help me out exponentially with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, so I can go ahead and get you guys some more content. You know, it's uh, it's challenging getting all of these tools. And I know I need them, but keeping them in the package and I'm keeping them fresh so you guys can get that uh, unboxing therapy and relief, you know, and um, 
And I kind of like you shopping with me or that I'm doing the leg work and I like doing the leg work for you guys. So please continue to support. Please continue to watch. I appreciate you guys so much. And again, I'm very grateful for those who have uh, subscribed, those who have followed and uh, those who are watching the videos. Even if you're watching it for one minute and 30 seconds or you're watching it all the way through, that means a ton to me. And for those who have subscribed, I tip my hat to you as well. I'm at like 90 subscribers roughly now. And that means a lot to me because that means 90 individuals uh, care enough to spend a minute with me, spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes, what have you, to uh, get some advice or just to spend some time with me. And I appreciate it, guys. I'm going to pay it back uh, with great content. And I'm trying my best to keep up with, with what's coming out. But, uh, you know, product availability and demand is so, so high. The demand is so high, product availability is so low for whatever they're making up, the reason is. But I'm trying to get my hands on it. So, again, guys, great light, great feature. I know I went in depth more about the magnet, which I love so much, than the light itself. But it's uh, it's light. So, and it's a good light and runs well. You'll appreciate it once you get it picked up. I do believe right now it's off promotion, so you're going to pay up for it. It's either 69 right now at Home Depot or 59 and if i'm incorrect about that please forgive me i was able to pick it up for 49 when they came out i bought i bought uh quite a bit of them and then there's other scenarios where you can pick them up from different online vendors thank you so much guys for your time i appreciate it peace